Riley, the calm before the Gasparilla invasion. I want to give you a live look at Bayshore Boulevard right now, where one of the largest parades in the country will happen tomorrow. Yeah, hundreds of thousands of people are going to be lining both sides of mm -hmm. Bayshore. But there's also a lot of stuff that you are not going to see happening behind the scenes. Tintapa Bay's Aaron Parsegian gives you a look at how technology is playing a role. There's going to be half a million people here in downtown Tampa for Gasparilla tomorrow. And there's going to be plenty of officers from all over working to make sure people are safe both on the ground and on the water. They'll also be getting plenty of help from above. Welcome to TPD's Real Time Crime Center. The whole day stays pretty active for us. On Saturday, these desks will be full of agents monitoring an undisclosed number of cameras positioned all over the city and parade route. We work in the same room so that we can share information and try to expedite getting that information to people who are working in the field. Because during large scale events, officers can't literally be everywhere. These cameras are used to stay on top of issues and deploy officers to pinpoint locations in the event of emergencies. We're able to focus solely on getting that high quality information that they need that's going to help them um, find, find what they need to find as fast as possible and keep everybody safe. The RTCC has been effective in years past, helping get ambulances to folks in need, even helping reunite lost kids with parents. Make sure that everybody stay, stays safe no matter what portion of the event that they're going to be attending. A lot of what they do in the center is help respond to emergency calls. So if you are out tomorrow, have a good idea of your general location, including the crossroads. So if you do need to call, they're able to help you as quick as possible. In Tampa, Aaron Parsegian, 1010.